Dear Burger King friends and family, we appreciate all your service and your time spent here working at Burger King, and we appreciate how much you enjoy the, the amenities that we leave out for you, that including the veggie sticks that we make available to all of our friends and staff here at Burger King. But it's important that while we're taking veggie sticks for ourselves, that we leave enough for our <laughs> peers so that they may have a few veggie sticks of their own to enjoy. We understand it's an extremely popular and very in-demand crisp snack, but it's important that we share. We're a community for all here at Burger King, so perhaps you'll be inspired and motivate yourself to go beyond, but not in the way that you're taking too many veggie sticks. It's important that we keep our peers in mind when we're taking more veggie sticks than we need. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can feel free to forward them to your team lead. Thank you. Eddie, cut the sh- the name of that podcast is brought to you by the History Channel, a and and Confederate Letters. Yeah, shut up, incels. Get a life. Rock the fucking cards. Please say nigga right now. Hashtag <gasps> Tyler. Unveils the Vegas and VSV Vault those vasty vassals. My mummies will protect us while you're pulling from me. Eat bet- that shit, Banks. The name of this podcast, that podcast, fuck. Oh, they're done already? <laughs> I knew it. Hey, everybody, you're listening to the name of that podcast, Allegedly. Hey. Allegedly. With Alton and Eddie and Danny. Allegedly. Okay. Hey, team, we are a cheer squad now, and we got a new cheer for the listeners. Hey, give me an S. Us. Give me an A. A. Give me an R. R. Give me an A. A. Give me an H. 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 Give me another bag of veggie sticks. No, I can't. They're gone. What's that spell? Bitch. Thanks, Sarah. (laughs) Sorry, it's also my sister's name. I'm going to spark this veggie stick. That's right. That's a veggie stick for sore eyes. That actually looks like a veggie stick. Every time I see you bring fucking raw cones over, or not raw cones, but raws with the filter tips on. Those pine cones I bring in. Yeah, they look like little rawhides. That's right. And you're listening to the name of that rawhide. Ooh. I'll thanks, give you the name of that thanks Sarah. <laughs> this episode's all about Danny's sister, Sarah. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but also thank you. It's a duality. <laughs> That's yep. how sisterhood works. Anyway. Hey, so why don't you tell us about Sarah? She got a big old butt. Careful. It generally goes with it generally goes with the territory. I mean, honestly, yeah. Um, so your your sister used to um be younger, I assume. <laughs> Some of us weren't. You know, we, we all grow no, up. No, she's Delphi the Immortal. We all have our name days and whatnot. And <coughs> I, I, I imagine that in the past, she, she, she celebrated name days of a younger age. Am I right in assuming? No. Huh. So she just spawned at her age and just never... Yeah, like a carrot. Just today. <laughs> That's how they had come. Happy Borton Day, Sarah. Hey, how many Sarahs do you think are born every day? Every day. Wrong. Not enough. (laughs) If there were more Sarahs in the world, we'd have more of the name of that podcast, listeners. And that is a fact. I guess? I know it for a fact. Do you want to know how I know this? Why? Because 100% of our listeners are named Sarah. Fair enough. Thanks, Sarah. Even the ones in Israel? We appreciate your patronage, young lady. Would you like a plant-based pizza? <laughs> With veggie stick topping. Veggie stick topping. That'll be eight dollars. Crust. Ooh. Ooh, veggie stick crust. How that sounds that? good. How's that tickle your fancy, Sarah? <laughs> you like veggie stick? You like potato veggie sticks? Are we gonna do this whole episode like she's sitting in the room with us? Yeah, so she is. She's right there. Yeah, uh, hey, she, girl, hey. she actually agreed to do an interview, uh, and we'll give her all the time. See, she, she needs. just drove in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sarah, how's it going? Take a seat, Papa. Squat. <laughs> all right. How are you? <clears throat> oh, quiet today. Well, no need to be a mummer. She's got her headphones in. Hey, she can have her headphones in. <laughs> it's it's her day. She can do whatever she wants. This is Sarah's day. Yeah. This is her episode. What do you want to talk about? Huh. You know, I invite you into my house to be on the name of that podcast, and you're just on your headphones, not saying anything to us. Eating those veggie sticks. Filing somehow. Processing even. <laughs> Baby. What gives you the right? 
Yeah. Really? Honestly. Oh, she's in the cabinets, isn't it? I'm a fucking bottle here. Uh-oh. A bottle of quat sprayed on the cabinets. What? Papa quat. Papa quat. What's a quat? It's a cleaning agent that they make us use at work. Oh. Yeah, we have to spray it on all the cabinets at Burger King. He's a great guy. Sarah works with us at Burger King. I wish I could work at Burger King someday. How long have you been working with us at Burger King, Sarah? What's that? They brought you back. Oh. 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 You can't get into slack. Huh. Well, you know what they say. You got time to slack, you got time to lead. That's what I always say, at least. Every time I hear the phrase, you got time to lean, you got time to feed, it makes me violent on the inside. <laughs> yeah, because my saying is if you got time to rhyme, you got time to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Facts. Yeah, it's you true. know. But hey, enough about Sarah. We're living in the middle of a pandemic. Woo! Coronavirus. Woo! The hottest party ever. And the U.S. doesn't want it to stop. That's Can you right. Put on party sirens in the background at this point. <laughs> this party don't stop. Nor should it. Yep, 130,000 and counting. <coughs> It's the biggest music festival of the summer. Man, this is what Fire Festival said it was going to be. Hell yeah, coronavirus unmasked. Oh, this episode is being recorded in the midst of a heat advisory, and yeah. I decided to turn off the air conditioner. He's a masochist and a sadist. Who knew? That's right. I'm, I'm a masked Satan. <laughs> she said it best. This is a very intelligent woman here. Know I knows him very well. Yep. Ugh. I smoke and I know things. <laughs> Oh my god. There is no smoking in Game of Thrones, though. You're right. Yeah, nobody smokes. Everybody just chews like that, uh, what's that red leaf called? Sour leaf. Sour leaf. And which if you, ugh, it makes it look like you're bleeding and shit. Mm-hmm. And you probably are after a while with that gingivitis and whatnot. Nope. You ever just chew enough leaf to bleed out of your mouth? <laughs> no, man. Like, ain't nobody got no lemons. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, chew sour leaf. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers over here got scourge. It's my favorite snack, sour leaf gum. Mm. And the name of that podcast is all of a sudden brought to you by Sour Leaf Gum. Suddenly. Hey, do you have two arms and two legs and can't seem to find any meaning in life? Well, you just might be a human being. Not entitled to compensation, but you can call the number and talk about it. So people who don't have two arms and two legs can't call the number? Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, the I, I challenge them to try. What, like physically? What if yep. they have two arms and no legs? That's fine. If they have two arms and no legs, get to the phone. What? You Improvise. Got, you got all day. To quote the president, what else do you have to lose? Your arms? <laughs> what? You know? No, yeah. you know, our is benevolent, somebody... omnipotent leader, Donald Trump. It is what it is. It is, is, is what it is. Oh, take a fucking joint. Give me a fucking joint. Okay. God damn it, motherfucking joint. <coughs> Bitch. Sarah, you better get your woman. <laughs> <coughs> you start Lutheran at me and we're going to have a problem. <coughs> wow, way to call my culture a verb. Wow, bitch! <laughs> right. You're well, the one who called it Luther. What? I'm Lutheran. That's my religion. <laughs> bitch! Martin Luther I'll smack you in your motherfucking head right on the steeple of this church, motherfucker! <laughs> Make your head spin backwards, get your exercise, bitch. <laughs> bitch. That's Sarah's favorite character that we do here on the name of that podcast. Luther? Is it? Yep, Luther Alphonse. That's her favorite. Is he the one addicted to veggie sticks? Nah, he's the one that's like, motherfucker, I'm out here peddling these veggie sticks to these motherfucking heads. <laughs> turning licks, hitting tricks, motherfucker. <laughs> hitting licks and turning tricks. That's with Luther. With the bim boom bop. That, with the bim boom bop. That's the Luther Alphonse way. And you're listening to the name of that podcast with Sarah and veggie sticks. Yeah. Hey, Sarah, what's your favorite color? Me? Wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, black. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I misunderstood. No, I misheard. I talk about it enough. <laughs> you just spend all day at work talking about being black? Lack thereof. Well, <laughs> or black thereof. Ooh. Yeah, we just got a few new coworkers, and you one of them is African American. I'm very happy. I know it's not a big step, you know, but it's nice, you know? <laughs> Sarah brought it up to me the other day. She's like, hey, Elton, you happy now? <laughs> Have we met the quota? Finally, can you finally stop? Put the pressure on him? Maybe take a break? Someone? Anyone? Anyone? Fine, I'll fucking chief until the end. Hey, man. Listen, this isn't about you. This is about you-know-who. 
Satan? Sarah. Same it's thing. pronounced Sarah. Yeah. Same thing. So if you got if your name's Sarah, if you got a kid named Sarah, if you know somebody named Sarah, send them a link to the name of that podcast and let them know we're thinking about them. Yeah. We're taking calls today too. From people named Sarah. Only people named Sarah. What about Sarai? I don't like that name. <laughs> Sounds like they misspelled Sriracha. No, bitch is the original name. I don't care. Okay. In, intolerant and, and, and irresistant. <clears throat> Out tolerant. Yeah. Out tall. Out tolerant. <laughs> Out right over here. Yep. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. <clears throat> Out left Contrary to what everyone says. But I am a proud boy. No. My mommy always said I was her man. <laughs> what? As they say in Fulton. As they say in Fulton, New York. I love you, son. What is this? Like Rasmus a brother. <laughs> Oh. In fact, I have something to tell you, son. You are my brother, my little brother. Don't yeah, when Jamie anyone. asked Brienne if she was a Lannister in Game of Thrones, I was like, oh, look, he's flirting. He's like, you want to get married, you big blonde bitch? <laughs> Is that a Lannister in your pocket? Is that a Lannister in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Hey. Is that Joffrey in your pocket? <laughs> Cough break. Cough break. <coughs> That's for you, Sarah. <laughs> We know how much you like that. We know how much you love the... Loves it. Missed it. Cough off. On your market set, go. (laughs) 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 Reverse cough. (laughs) (laughs) That's how you do that. Yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, we're just hanging out. (laughs) The name of that podcast studio, Hotter Than Hell. We have an AC, but I don't want to turn it on. White White noise. White noise. We got enough white noise with these two over here, am I right? Hey. Hey. Um, I did. I mean, we are pretty Caucasian, Eddie. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm sitting here like, is Eddie paler than I am? Probably. On a scale of white to Sarah, how white are you? (laughs) Eddie? Sarah's with the shit stuff. I appreciate her, uh, her progressiveness. And her, uh... She's a vegan! She's a vegan, wow. Wow. Yeah, you know. You know vegans wish you'd stop bringing it up. You're taking their thunder. You're vegan! <laughs> You're taking their thunder. <laughs> they're like, damn it, now I have nothing to talk about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing that. If I know someone's vegan, they're gonna, uh, like, introduce... Oh, you're vegan! Fuck. <laughs> Great, this is gonna be a really quiet date. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since you ordered the endangered rhino. <laughs> <laughs> is that shark fin soup? I see. Pitfalls of Tinder, you know. Mm. I swiped right on a lot of vegans being open to the idea of having <laughs> a vegan dinner date. In a, you know, in a public setting. I wasn't going to cook vegan food. I hey. wasn't going to cook vegan food. He's like, I would never. Not much to cook, really. I mean, yeah. I ain't vegan in You're bed, pretty honey. Good at mixing up rice. That's right. I ain't vegan in bed. I Pure ain't vegan pescatarian. In a bed. Pure pescatarian. Babe, I can picture you just like. Cooking up rice and being like, here you go. Or just or just it's a handful vegan. of rice out of the kitchen. Just no, hot. motherfucker, this is a plate. It's a hot handful of rice. Like, here you go, babe. That's for, weird, though. For I'm your grazing vegan. pleasure. You do that to me. I heard veggie sticks have meat in them. Veggie sticks are at least made by meat sacks. Yeah. Yeah. I heard they're abused. So how sh- how she eat them? What? How she eat them? Through her mouth, usually. Listen, mm. white people and guilt go hand in hand, okay? <laughs> Who are you telling? You can't even like you can't even enjoy a veggie stick without some guilt, you know. <laughs> six, 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 shit. You got to add something to it, you know. Guilt, shame, anger, guilt resentment. Bite. Ranch. You know they're actually not. They're all the they're same thing. They're not veggie sticks. Ranch they're, is white guilt. It's called vegan human fingers. <laughs> you know how like cauliflower is vegan chicken wings. Yep. Yep. It's just vegan human fingers. Can you call it vegan lady fingers? Sarah just misses when she was a cannibal. <laughs> she used to hang around with a. Glendon uh, in them? No, not Glendon. Oh, God. Glendon's not a cannibal. Far from it. It's just... Yeah, no. Sarah used to hang around with uh, Gary Busey and Tony Robbins oh, and Jordan wow. Peterson. Jordan Peterson, yeah. Yeah, they'd pretty much oh. hang out like uh, like the like the, like the Lost Boys. Is that the vampire movie? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she'd hang out like Kiefer Sutherland and the Lost Boys. Wow. Hey, Sarah, what was it like being Kiefer Sutherland and the Lost Boys? She wasn't Kiefer. She wouldn't have been Kiefer. Let her know. talk. Don't talk over her. Don't talk over her. It's rude to interrupt your guests. Are you a co-host or a co-whore? Wow. Wow. No, I'm not calling you a whore. I'm asking which one you are. Well, you're putting the implication out there. I'm letting you choose, damn it. No, you're not. You're assigning me two options and saying choose. That's not not a choosing. That's an ultimatum. You know, most men in Westeros wouldn't be having this conversation. (laughs) 
fill in one of the bubbles yeah, you're on right the scan. Yeah, right. The would have killed him by now. Yeah, fucking George R. R. Martin's favorite thing to put in a book, and then he punched her teeth out. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've listened to that That's on the not Game of Thrones. Well, I can't tell you how many people have just had their teeth knocked out in the Game of Thrones <laughs> audio books. Like mostly girls, and I, and, you know. Yeah, that's because the, a lot of the men are just like, bah! I don't want to unpack how raw and gritty George R. R. Martin's version of the Middle Ages is. <laughs> a lot gr- of rape. A little grittier. Very gritty. Somehow not as much rape as the show, though. And somehow not as much gritty <laughs> as gritty. Dirt is less gritty. Yeah, gritty from the uh, Philadelphia Flyers is less gritty <laughs> than George R. R. Martin's uh, adaptation of the Middle Ages. Yep. All right, you guys are. We're, I guess we're in the Game of Thrones segment now. Is the Onion Knight a veggie stick? The Onion Knight no! is in fact a veggie stick. He actually got He's his veggie sticks Knight. cut off, like King Stannis. Oh, yeah. He kept him on his neck for luck. Blooming onion. <laughs> is that vegan? Hmm. Nah, no, it depends on the grease. Let's ask. Hey, Sarah, is 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 a uh, blooming onion vegan? What if I make it with peanut oil? Huh. Learning a Not lot. Not allergy f- uh, oh. friendly, though. I- I'd love for her to answer these questions once the episode's live. Yeah. I hope she just comes into the job with like a list. Nah, she'll probably listen to it at work. She'll she'll answer it in real time. Oh. Yeah. All right, so we'll see. This will be the test to see if Sarah's listening to it at work. Okay. Yeah. Um, look behind you and look for us. What cabinets are we in? Answer the comment section below. I will die. Though I think we're doing PvP more now. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's that's internal though. We Y'all are doing PvP? Yeah, well we actually get to fight each other at work. I wanna work there so bad! We yeah. send out burgers. Yeah, we send out burgers. Oh, you must squires. Be on Butternut and Lodi then, Squires huh? and yeah, yeah. I, I work <laughs> at the Burger King on Butternut and Lodi with Eddie and Sarah. Yep. Yeah. Well, because I always see fights going down there. Oh, there were shots the other day. That's what I was talking to you about. Shots fired. Shots fired at the Burger King. Just another day at the office. Literally, I feel so bad for the people who, because there's some people there who have been working there for years. How you know, many shootings have they seen? Our our safety squad has stopped a shooting, and maybe a stabbing. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, we don't know if the shooting would have happened, but they definitely stopped it. It was like Downton oh. Abbey. Yeah, it's like better not. You know, there. Better the, not. Yeah, there there was no gun to be seen, <laughs> but there were implications once the cops arrived that something could go south. It oh. Felt, it felt yeah. gunny. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, you got to keep your team safe at Burger King. Felt postal? Yeah. Yeah, you know. I'll tell you what happened. The quiet guy at Burger King was having a bad day, so he was being quiet and hard to talk to. <laughs> um, and we're a family at Burger King, so we, we like to understand our family members at Burger King. So we called the cops on them. <laughs> that's what my family does. Yeah, but that's Burger King family is better than your real family. Yep. That's why we'll fire you for taking care of your real family. <laughs> <laughs> you belong yeah, to boys. us. It's like, hey, maybe you should be part of a different family that lets you take care of your, your other family. Oh, what? They gave birth to you? Oh, really? You gave birth to them? Who is cares? that is that why you take care of them? Huh? Whatever. Oh, you, oh, take care oh, of you have kids? you have a hard time char broiling burgers at the Burger King because your children are sick. Oh, 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 one got the other one sick, so now you're not available for twice as long. What a pussy! God, what a family member this one is. Can't wait to see you at the holiday party. I'm not going to your funeral. Yeah. I'm not. How about that? You don't want to come make burgers? I don't want to go to your funeral. <laughs> I'm writing you out of the will. <clears throat> Get out. Get lost. But you're vested, so. Yeah. Your options are vested. You're buttoned up. Yeah. <laughs> Dolled up, but nowhere to flip burgers. <laughs> we can dress you up, but we can't order you nowhere. Yep. Yep, we're a family. BK. Hoorah. Ooh. Hand over fist. First to enter, last to leave. Like the Marines, the few, the proud, <laughs> the gays. Me? Yeah. The That's veggie you. sticks. The veggie sticks. Coming to Syracuse War Memorial, it's Veggie Sticks Live! No, Sarah's allowed. Syracuse! Syracuse! Syracuse? We're the, not going All the anymore. Veggie Stick mascots are like, I don't know, man, I don't want to go on stage. I'm awfully nervous. What if she's out there? She and might eat like, me! She, and she's, then you see her hiding in a blonde wig with oversized sunglasses, and a coat, and a floppy hat. <laughs> she comes down like that, but doing Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> They're like, who could that possibly be doing Phantom of the Opera? Bites their heads off. Bites their heads off. Snaps their... As they're speaking of Jesus. 
And uh, someone else has a wife as a veggie stick, and she steals that one. Wait, yep. can this veggie sticks be the Zoroastrian version of veggie tales? No, they're real veggie sticks. I know. Sarah eats a lot of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> too much. I mean, there's no, <laughs> there's no such thing as too many veggie sticks, but when they're to share. I don't want to say too much, but more than enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not enough for everyone else. <laughs> I don't even, honestly, I don't even know if I wanted veggie sticks because there were none left for me to try. And she's gotten cohorts. And she's gotten bolder. <laughs> Just like the flavor of veggie sticks. She I could imagine. I could only imagine. Could, could, couldn't get a veggie stick to save my life. We should all yeah, form a, a mob like at the end of BD. It's too late. She's already formed a mob. She gets like nine bags a morning. Nine. She, can't, she can't be stopped. You know where she hides them? Right by her foot. Yep, behind paper. Behind so paper. If you listen, a piece of paper. And you're hungry for veggie sticks, look at, behind the paper at Sarah's desk. They're I'm probably not alive there. if people just start ro- rolling up to her desk like, where the veggie sticks at, bitch? They won't. She's the only one that listens. Yeah, she's the only one that listens. Um, Tom said he might listen. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is Tom's going to rat it all out. No, Tom's not like that. Give me the veggie sticks. Where are the veggie sticks at? We're a community for all, not a community for If y'all. you shake her laptop, it's veggie splits for, just pour out it's, of it. No, not all for one. Check her split tags. Hey, there's some HP. <laughs> hey, who put veggie sticks in MP foil? Hey. God damn it. This one's half eaten. Somebody replaced all the grass type Pokemon with veggie sticks. Where do I file the crumbs? GX Venusaur? More like GX <laughs> veggie sticks. <laughs> veggie sore. You're a veggie sore. I wish. That'd be great. I wish I had some veggie sticks. Some shit sound good as fuck now. <laughs> I've really talked them up. I heard uh, there's a shortage. I want more chips and... I want queso. I don't want queso. You never want queso. No, veggie I don't. Veggie sticks and queso? Sounds good, but it's not plant-based. So what? Well, Sarah. She doesn't need it. She's had enough. You're right. <laughs> yeah. We'll She's be right back. So- we're going to go on a crusade to find veggie sticks. Hopefully we're not old when Replenish. we come back. Replenish. Replenish. Solidarity. Annie oh, up. Shake. Hit the button. Hit the bricks. Hello? Hello? You're listening to the name of that podcast. The year is 2028. We made it back. Finally. Hello? Well, you're listening with (coughs) Eddie and and Danny and Alton Dye. Alexa. So we brought on a special guest. He <laughs> fell off a cliffside. I'm his replacement. My name is Nicholas. <laughs> I gave Alton milk of the poppy and a veggie stick. It did not save him. It could not save him. His injuries were too severe. <sighs> but we finally found veggie sticks. <sighs> The it, last veggie sticks in the world. It's deeper than we thought. She's run a goddamn cartel. She single-handedly cornered the market on every veggie stick on the planet, and I don't know how she's done it in one week. She has all the guns. She's brought back the Fluffy dragons guns. with veggie stick magic. They don't need bullets. Please. Now where we're going. If you're listening to this, share Sarah, please. She needs to be stopped. She needs to be written up. We're gonna die stickless. Tell your leadership about her greed. I'm gonna have to eat Cheetos. She deserves a teaching moment. (laughs) Don't let her get away with it. Because she's a girl. (laughs) Hey, you're listening to the name of that podcast in 2020 in the midst of a pandemic. Ooh, and a heat wave. Hell yeah, and a heat wave. A heat wave and a pandemic. So, uh, right now, if you're coughing during a heat wave, you should definitely get tested for COVID. If you can. Yeah, because coughing in a heat wave is uh, really bad stuff, even before COVID. So, I was uh, listening to trusted medical scientist Alex Jones, and he was... (laughs) You got something to say? (laughs) Continue your shenanigans. Oh, oh. You got something to say about Alex Jones, baby? Yeah. Oh, really? Our first argument, huh? Right on the name oh, of that wow. podcast. Oh my god, Alton. Wow, on a hot microphone. I'm joking. It's funny because all of our like arguments that we get flustered over are just like literal dumb yeah, shit. Yeah, all of our frustrating conversations <laughs> where tensions start to flare, relatively speaking. Like where we have to light a cigarette in the middle of it. Yeah, alright, so I remember one yesterday because <laughs> it's so fucking stupid, right? So I made macaroni salad a few days ago because I was nostalgic. Mm-hmm. Um, I think... Uh, 
I, I think I might have told you about the macaroni and salad that Tyler drowned in a cooler. Yeah. And uh, so <laughs> he made it. His mom Tupperware. made it. And it was a really yet Tupperware. <laughs> hashtag, Tupperware. Hashtag team Tupperware. That's oh. right. We're ousting you <clears throat> until the, until you can prove yourself. He's a Tupperware wolf. <laughs> He's a Tupperware on my nerves. <laughs> Anyway, so I made I made I made macaroni salad, you know, you know, fucking tuna fish, peas, mayonnaise, something real basic, you know, some salt and pepper, whatever. Cabbage. Right? No, no cabbage. No cabbage. Oh. Oh. I can't make cabbage. <clears throat> I don't know how, among other people. So Whoa. I make this macaroni salad and I'm eating it. Danny doesn't like mayonnaise, so she doesn't like any other salad. She's not interested. <laughs> and she sees my plate of food that has salad on the plate. Plate of she's water. Like, she's like <laughs> She says something about it like being a casserole. Be- and I'm just like, we get into this whole argument about like what makes a macaroni salad a macaroni salad and what's a casserole and like what did I put in my salad to make it a casserole. And it was just this whole fucking thing. I'm not going to get into it. It was the dumbest shit ever and it made me real frustrated with her and she, and she with me. <laughs> but like we won't argue about shit like... Uh, you always prefer your mother's advice over mine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my mother's dead. Well, and my mother's not, so way to be selfish. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't know my mother dying was selfish. Yeah, you know, maybe some of us, you know. Not, what? Not me. I'm just saying some of us, you know, the listeners, maybe Sarah, uh, <laughs> wishes they were... An yeah. orphan? You're not an orphan. You're an adult. I know. Well, first of all, adults can be orphans. Yeah, like but adults with no father. life skills. <laughs> like, honestly, like, if you're, like, 30 and your mom dies, and it just, like, puts you flat on your ass, not only are you H.P. Lovecraft, but... <laughs> but it's, like, really? Yeah, that's how the racism developed. Yeah, well, no, honestly, he lived a pretty quaint life with his mother until she died all of a sudden on him. And, and they ran a hotel... No, they didn't. Oh. Uh, but when she Instead died, dressing like her, he yeah, lost yeah. all the People money. Died. Killed that, someone in the shower. Yep, uh, infected someone's mind with tentacle porn. <laughs> yep. You know, H.P. Uh, Lovecraft is the OG of tentacle porn. Oh, kind of inherently racist if you think about it. What, Hawaii. Tentacle porn? Yeah, if we connect tentacle porn with racism, people might watch less of it. Because we want to get rid of both things, right? I don't particularly care about tentacle porn. Mm-hmm. It's a do right. you boo boo sort of situation. What I what I do care about is you having sex with a tentacle in front of my kids. What I'm saying is get the octopus <laughs> out of the bed. Yeah. But what about the babies? What about the babies? I'm like, I can teach my son about racism, but that. <laughs> no. he, There's no. Where's the precedent? Where's the historical precedent for that? <laughs> he's got to figure out that shit on his own. Man. Yeah, just think about this. A hundred years ago, people said that about racism. Like, you're just gonna see, man. Welcome to the club. As you get older, son, you'll see. You'll Are you see. implying that tentacle porn is gonna be our generation's big bigotry? No, it's gonna be our new original sin. <laughs> It's already a sin. Yeah, but it's going to be the new original, you know? Okay. You know how, like, they made Lay's Chips original? Yeah. And then ten years later, they made Lay's Wavy original? Yeah. It's a new original. It's going to be the baked original? Yeah. Right, Sarah? Are, can you eat... Oh. Can, can Sarah eat Lay's potato chips? I don't know. I think they have pork grease in them. Pork grease? Beef tallow? Hey. Damn. Did I tell you about the argument I got in at my mom's house? No, what about... I, I like walked it. in, went to the pantry... <gasps> No veggie sticks. Fuck! You want to get kicked out of your own house? Sarah was at your mom's <laughs> it's not house. my house. <laughs> she must have been, because no one had them. She raided your fridge, took your veggie sticks. They didn't even open the bag. She said, "All I want to do was take all your veggie sticks and a gun sound and take your money, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite mumble rap song of all time. You just spoke it out loud. Some, 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 some away. Uh, some to give me that veggie stick. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? A veggie stick, 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 a veggie Keep it up. Keep it up. No, 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 no. I got it. Just keep up the, keep up the, keep up the, a veggie stick. Yep, keep it up. Keep it up. A veggie stick, a veggie stick, a veggie stick, a veggie stick. Into the microphone. Oh my God. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. 
I'll rock back and Fuck forth. your sound quality. I'm comfortable. Thank you. All right, one more time. One. Ready? Go. A vegistic, 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 a In the red room, the mighty red room, the Sarah snacks tonight. In the red room, the mighty red room, the Sarah snacks tonight. Veggie snacks. Veggie snacks on my way. Are they? Uh, no. <laughs> they are on their way, but Sarah's going to get to them first. She's got a network of peers that oh. bring her veggie sticks in exchange for nothing. Gratitude. Tribute. Gra- tribute yeah, like they're paying goddess. tribute to the, to the goddess of the Red Room. I want to be the goddess of the Red Room. You're the goddess of my Red Room, baby. What do I have to do? Have a fake foot? Are these veggie what? sticks? What? Sarah? Oh. <laughs> no, those are chocolate sticks. She can't eat those. Uh, they're soy. What if I could? As they say. What? what if I could? Wow. Anyway, would you rather fight Sandor Clegane or Warg Hordor? <laughs> Wargdor? Yeah. <laughs> Who's Warging Hodor? What's that? Who's Warging Hodor? The Hound. What? <laughs> the Hound. He's fighting his own body? That's just lifeless. No, it's who you're fighting. Either way, you're fighting the Hound. <laughs> fine, fine. Jojen Reed. <laughs> Jojen Reed can't Warg. Okay, fine. Uh, Baramir Sixkins. Well, then I'll take Hodor. You're going to take Hodor beating the mountain? Yeah, because Baramir's bitch made with a human body. He can fight with wolves and shit. Anybody can fight inside a wolf. It has teeth and claws and does all the fighting. Yeah, so I don't really care not to talk about Game of Thrones because none of my peers actually listen. Except for <laughs> Sarah and Kenny and uh, you know, maybe Tom. So, hey, Tom, maybe. 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 What if Play your cards right. The hall Play your cards hell? right. Maybe you get an episode titled after you. <laughs> maybe. Huh? Nobody maybe. ever thinks about that. Thinks about what? What if Sansa warged the Hound? What if Sansa warged the Hound? He'd like that, wouldn't he? Ew. <laughs> get warged. Yeah, get warged. Get a life warg. <laughs> get a get a wolf. Get a wolf. Our wolf died. <laughs> you oh, sound who? like Lady before she yeah. died. No, I sound like Blue from Blue's Yeah, that's Blue. what I heard. Yeah, they made the same sound. We just got a letter. We just got a raven. We just got a raven. raven. Wonder who it's from. Oh, no! It's from Ramsey Snow. I killed 20 of your iron men, scum. (laughs) And I got a little piece of thee on here for ye. It's a clue. It's his dick. Which is also a clue. clue. It's just like he bent it into a question mark. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. I hate it. I like the part where he's like, I'm Reek. And then he bit his sister. I swear to God, if the next time they pan, if the next time they pan from Theon, it goes to another fucking sausage. Thing. Yeah, we've noticed that. So like, ever since it he got his dick cut off, um, it shows Theon with a sausage in the scene, and then they showed Theon, and then the next scene was Tyrion getting served a sausage. Okay. And he like stabbed it with his fork. What a transition. He doesn't know about Theon's penis. Yeah, but the audience does, and they, they know what they did. The what, audience. Wait, does. me? I know about it. The showrunner knows what he did. No, they don't. They know. They, they, <laughs> they know, don't what, know what, what they anything. did, but they didn't know what they were doing. They didn't know what they were doing. They were like, Lady Olenna did it. Guess we'll just say cock in every episode. Now. So I got, I got, a, I got a theory. Now yeah. that I've been really engrossed in the in the Game of Thrones mythology, <laughs> I know, I know who killed Joffrey Lannister. Oh, I know who did it. Yeah. Who yeah. all did it? No, I don't know who all did it, but I know the mastermind, which is most important. They did it. You know what I mean? The mastermind. He choked on a veggie stick. Yeah, but Sarah. guess guess yeah. yeah. Guess who put the veggie stick in the wine goblet though? Who? Sarah Lannister. Wow. Yep. Otherwise known as Tywin, the grandfather of the family. He set the whole thing up. He had Lady Olena in on it. He had Peter Baelish in on it. He had uh, <laughs> he had uh, Shay the Whore in on it. He um, had uh, Shay the Whore. stretching it a bit there, baby. I'm not stretching it. He was stretching her, bro. Yeah, he was. Yo, A so... Lannister always repays their debt. <laughs> Yo, this motherfucker, right? He shits oh, so gold. So in the scene, in the scene, Tyrion walks up and she's got her head turned. She thinks it's Tywin. So she goes, my lion, and sees... T- and Wrong like, lion. Other lion. Other lion. Oh, You're... so you just a ho-ho. You must be looking for Scar. Sea lion. It's me. You about to find Scar. You thought it was Scar. Call no deal, da. <laughs> yeah. Yo, imagine that, though, right? Like, you, you turn around in bed, you yeah. think it's like your lover, right? But it's actually your ex-lover who's your lover's son. Okay. But your lover's son's also a dwarf. 
and you also <laughs> implicated him in a murder he didn't commit. That you know he didn't commit? Yeah, and now they see you naked in their father's bed. It's good. Like, not even a whole day after you testified against them. It's like, them. bitch, you getting choked now. You getting choked, and not in a good way. <laughs> while, we were, while we were watching this scene... Jeff Goldblum will not approve. <laughs> what? I said Jeff Goldblum will not approve of this choking. So, we were watching the scene where Shay gets choked. Together with my girlfriend. Yes. Yeah, I was here. She was real. So we were watching it, and this motherfucker looks at her while she's getting chucked and goes, oh, she's used to it. Yeah, that's what I said. That was bad. To my, to my girlfriend. Are you okay? She's alive. And here. And real. Don't you hear her? Don't you hear her? Shorty's like a melody in my head. <laughs> right? Am I right? Sarah, <laughs> agree with me. You're getting that song stuck in my head again. Stop! Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Sarah, let us leave. How long does this episode have to be, Sarah? Quit stuffing the AC with veggie sticks. Come on and stop working because of God. You. Please, when, when will your tyranny end? Eddie, I've never met anyone who could drag a bit like you. Does yeah. your greed know no bounds, Sarah? Please. I just want to leave. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm not leaving until I get my veggie sticks. Help yeah. me, Sarah. I don't, want a, I don't want another veggie stick. I've had enough. <laughs> Force feeding. Please. Oh, you said you wanted veggie sticks. How motherfucker? I couldn't have another. Untie me from this chair. I don't want to eat anymore. Who's saying you to a chair? Sarah. Huh? Not like that in like a, in an evil way. Like okay. you gotta save me way. Yeah. I was about to come save you and beat your ass for letting a bitch tie you to a chair. How dare you let someone overpower you out? <laughs> First of all, that bitch is my size. You know what fixes that? Being overpowered. That'll teach you. That's You'll like learn. that's like every parent who says if you lose a fight, I'm gonna beat your ass. I've never heard that. Oh, I oh guess my you're... god, my mother said that to me so many times. It's not if you lose it, it's if you lose it and you come back whining to me, I'm gonna beat your hey, ass. Hey, let's good parent shame Eddie. Ha ha, you had a stable home. <laughs> <laughs> eh, Don't come me. back complaining. They took my leg. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at me, one legged son. Suck it up, pussy. You know I, some dirt. I got two legs and you still don't appreciate <laughs> me enough. Hey, did you hear that when you used to hurt yourself? Rub, Rub some, some dirt, dirt on it. It depends, like, on the, uh, it depends on the thing. Because some things, dirt's too dirty, like a gash in your head. Don't uh, rub dirt on it. I don't think you should be rubbing COVID How many COVID times did you have a geisha, gash in your fucking head? Yeah. Listen, I've been a geisha many times. <laughs> you hoe it? Oh, and you won't let me put anything in your butt. Got I don't put anything in my butt. Mouth stuff only. <laughs> Mouth hands and... Veggie sticks. Penis tip. Penis tips and veggie penis sticks. Penis tip? <laughs> You're listening to Penis Tips and Veggie Sticks. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, I'm your host, Cucumber Carrot, and you're listening to di- di- Veggie Sticks and Dick Penis tips. tips. I'm here with my guest, Eddie. Hey, Eddie, why don't you tell us of your affliction? Uh, I've got turn up knees. He's got turn up knees, and he can't turn them down. Turn for what? Up for what? Because his knees hurt. That's right. They All right, cracking. My next guest here is Danny. Danny, why don't you tell us why you're here on Dick Tips and Veggie Sticks? I live in fear. Of? Of Sarah. So, dick tips or veggie sticks? I have a veggie stick for a dick tip. Oh, no. Run! <laughs> Are you going to art a choke on it? I think she might try to get it from me. No, she's happily married. She won't try to touch you there. No, I don't. I just think she wants the stick, man. Don't say that. <laughs> Are you cool? Radish. <clears throat> Radish. I'm not really cool. Cool ranch. So you're gonna just like bop the shit out of me. I was going to. <laughs> cool as a room temperature you get my cucumber. Boyfriend. Yep. Whew. Sarah, can we end the episode, please? <laughs> uh, find me in the cabinets oh, and tell wait, me it's wait, over. Wait. You know what I noticed? We were watching during Game of Thrones earlier, and you said Brianna Tarth. I don't want to watch Game of Thrones anymore. I want to talk about Sarah and her veggie stick addiction. <laughs> That's why we turned on the mics today. You've got a problem, Sarah. Your veggie stick addiction has affected me in the following ways. <clears throat> I don't get any. And that's not cool for me or your peers. Fix it. Your, fucking... <laughs> your turn, Eddie. You you read your intervention letter now. Oh. Um get stop being so emotional, man. You're strong. You can do this. I'm sick of walking in stickless every morning. It, it needs to stop. Oh, you're one of the unsullied? Yep. I feel like Michael Stickless. <laughs> I'm forced to eat nothing but chiclets. Shut up. But thanks to her plant-based <laughs> diet, I get all the riblets. Riblets. 
Oh, is that where they've been going? To me, yes. The riblet. To me! Ah, the king of the door! (laughs) Veggie sticks! So anyway, as I was saying, you know what the weird thing is? Sarah's banner was three veggie sticks crossed (laughs) on a black field. (laughs) Game you of Thrones know, reference. You yeah. know, it's a weird thing that gets said in Game of Thrones a lot. In the red My red mother red had this attribute, red and now I'm gonna fuck you. Oh, all right. Yeah, like I remember there was one like my mother was a big woman. <laughs> and there's more I've than never one fucked of a these. woman that big. I want to fuck her in the ass. I've always wanted to fuck Veggie. me, mother, in the ass. Ugh. And I'm like, is this the show? Sticks no, this is the book. The <laughs> Some dude says that to Brienne when they Veggie. capture her. That's great. What, what a thing to say to someone else. Some and then way. in the show, the dude who tried to rape Miro was just like, you've got curly brown hair my mother. The my mother always had beautiful hair. Why are you saying this? <laughs> and he's like, being all rapey. Yep. In the cabinets, the filing cabinets, the Sarah snacks tonight. Veggie sticks on the way. A veggie stick, a veggie stick. <laughs> Veggie sticks on the way. Share some food, damn, I'm really hungry. The veggie stick looks good. <laughs> you're not sharing, cause you don't care if your peers get what they should. Veggie <laughs> sticks on the way. Veggie. <laughs> Stingy bitch. <laughs> I love you, Sarah. Thanks for being an honest to God listener. Hey, you like the content, and that's good enough for me. I Kat. happen to think she might be our listener in Israel using a VPN. <laughs> Maybe the name of that podcast. If you're listening in Israel, you're probably not. And we're brought to you by Express VPN. Not hey. really. No. Everybody else is though. Yep. Well, separate but equal textbooks. Four more weeks. Count their days. You know. Is Svetlana one of our listeners? Oh yes. Yeah, She's Spet- a sponsor. You're a Svetlana oh. in the morning, Svetlana in the evening, and Svetlana on your weekend drive I need home. More money for my sponsorship of the podcast, Daddy. <laughs> She's like, oh, Daddy, I love name of podcast. They keep me so hot with air conditioner off. <laughs> Please, Sarah, let them end the episode. I'm so hot. I need hand. Crank fan. Oh, I'll give you a hand crank fan, baby. Baby, stop. Not in front of the Sarah. Yeah. She's sitting <laughs> right here. Any, She's, it's right in her Eddie ear. Who has to listen to this all the time. It's right in her ear. You don't want to get that in her ear. Yeah. Can't, it's hard I'll to get, get out. I'll get something in your ear. Come here. Stop. I'm, I'm, I'm musty right now. I smell like body odor. I love your body odor. Oh, you're so gross. <laughs> You're like a bar of Irish spring that I don't use a loofah for. What? It's right up the crack of my ass. You ain't worth a I'm loofah. I'm gonna be right up the crack of your ass. I'm at scrubbing the end of my. Night. Just, just Watch make as it, soon as Eddie walks out the door. Making my gooch all fresh. As Here I go. As soon as Eddie walks out the door. Here he goes. I'm closing the door, door now. Hello. Do you want me to? Oh, I didn't lock it. Uh, oh. I can lock it from the uh, bottom lock. Bottom lock. <laughs> all right, I'm closing the door again. You guys have a great day. Forgot my hat. <laughs> uh, I didn't close the door all the way. That's why I was able to grab my hat, even though I locked the door. Oh, my God. You know what I'm not a fan of? People who don't lock the door? People who hit their kids and then act like it's okay. <laughs> They're like, yeah, whatever. They listen to me. And that's all that, really, my mother out of this. all that really matters as a parent is that I'm not stressed out. Whether or not the kids <laughs> get stressed out, they'll worry about that when they're adults. What do you mean serotonin imbalance? Did you just say serotonin? Oh. Oh man, bam, bam, ba, dum. supermarket sweep. <laughs> Yo, that shit is wild. Yo, supermarket sweep is an acid fucking trip, bro. Is it? And you the hams are so big. Yeah, the hams hands. are so big. They're like Gregor Clegane's fists. <laughs> we found a really good movie that I think Sarah might like to watch. Yeah. It's called Silent Night, Bloody Night. Oh. Yeah. I hear that there's a, there might be a serial killer in the neighborhood. Oh shit. Um, he's been kidnapping movie buffs and. Um, we haven't been seeing them alive. I don't know what he wants with all the movie buffs in the area, but I'm sure I'm happy that I'm not a well-known movie buff. Oh, I, no. I hope Sarah doesn't let slip that I'm a movie buff to the wrong person, oh. and I end up... I'll buff your movie. <sighs> I've got some movies. Anyway, maybe Sarah will like Silent Night, Bloody Night. It's a, it's a Christmas movie. It's a horror movie. It's, it's, it's everything you ever wanted in a film. It's on fire, as the first guy in the film would proclaim. 
Richard Pryor? Richard you Pryor. Got Richard Pryor? I think you? Richard Pryor's. You got Richard Pryor in here? Uh, excuse me. I got a package for uh, Mr. Richard Pryor. Y'all got Richard Pryor in here? Uh, hello. Excuse me. I am delivering a package for a uh, Mr. Richard Pryor. From what I heard, Richard Pryor received a package from James Dean, was it? I heard that Paul Mooney had sex with Richard Pryor's young son. Wow. Yeah. Ask a black dude that. <laughs> <laughs> he saw his Mooney. White people like Wayne Brady because Wayne. he makes Bryant Gumble look like Malcolm X. <laughs> Flipper. We didn't know him as Flipper. We called him James, the nigga hating dolphin. Boo. They just come over to the community pool and throw him in there. So uh, I was thinking about being Dr. Frankenfurter for Rocky Horror Picture Show, the movie viewing next year. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I could pull it off. I think you can, too. I could be Eddie. I want to be Eddie in Columbia! Not you, Eddie. Yeah, I know. Yeah. When Eddie said he didn't like his teddy, you knew he was no good bitch. Veggie stick. <laughs> Got him. Veggie tails. Veggie granny. That was not a veggie stick. That <laughs> Who would win in a fight? Veggie granny or veggie granny? I think veggie granny's got the edge. Wait, did you, say, did you say veggie granny or veggie granny? Veggie. What I about think... veggie granny? No, ew. Oh. Flicky the beans, grandmother. No. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmother's flicky the bean. No, what? What'd you Gra- say? Grandmother's flicky the bean. Who's Just an grand- elderly... Bean Flicky. Flicky the soybean. <laughs> Flicky the soybean. I was about to say, I'll, I'll show you a soybean to be generic. Flicky, and <laughs> Flicky the refried bean. I'll refry your beans, babe. Oh my god. Could you turn the AC on? I'm making it hot in here. I'm tired of what Sarah thinks about you know our what? white noise. Fucker. Yeah. Yeah. Is it on low? Yes. Why'd you put it on low? We're going for the gusto. Babe, the microphone gods. Fuck the microphone gods. I'm hot. What have they ever done for me? Fuck the patrons! If you're listening to the name of that podcast, you can uh, follow us on Patreon. Give us money monthly, and patrons get stuff. Uh, there's actually a Sarah tier. Yeah. Um. Yep. You, you can you can uh, give us enough money for that. We um, include veggie sticks, but we can't find any. Yeah, we 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 really are trying hard to get our hands on veggie sticks, but the more you Sarah. Know what else I can't find some goddamn chocolate. Or some goddamn manners. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, eh, eh, who needs fucking manners? Bruh. It's so hard being a prosthetic leg. <laughs> it's Pete, the prosthetic leg. I'm Peter, the prosthetic, and it's nice to meet you. I'm Pete, the prosthetic, and it's nice to meet. Have a good seat. Take off. Oh, your shirt in this fucking heat. Thank you. Jolly Rancher. Thank you. Fruit roll ups, huh? Hey. Are these vegan? Uh, probably not. They're probably filled with gelatin with some pork. Why do you know so much about vegetables and pork? You sound offended. Who taught you? To, who taught you vegetables? Not my parents. Did you go to vegetable school? Did you go to vegetable school, huh? Class. Veggie tech. Veggie? I'm a farmer, okay. Cucumber University. <laughs> I'll show you cucumber university. Wow, that was a stretch. I've got Google Come Maps. On. Oh my God, I'm so hot. I'm so hot, Daddy. <laughs> oh, I need AC. I need Sarah to stop listening so we can turn AC off. Mmm. 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 I just wiped my forehead and it squeaked. I just wiped my forehead with my fruit roll up. Please don't do that. Too late. Grown man. Page bills. <laughs> One syllable. <laughs> <laughs> I totally just, I totally just uh, recited poetry for Neanderthals. You did. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, let's play some poetry for Neanderthals. Oh, we, we can do that now with Sarah. All okay. right, Sarah. Um, I'm thinking of a word, and you got to guess it. <laughs> you pause it and come tell me what the word is when you figure it out. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, somebody give me a minute and a half to help her. Okay. Okay. We're we're gonna go right for the three pointer. It's actually gonna be two words. Um, it is a thing that you put words on, but it is a thing that is a food you eat too. Veggie sticks? No. It is a thing that will fall off a tree, but it will 
grow out of the ground too. Seed. No. Um. Nut? No. You had it right the first time. <laughs> the nut? This is not for you to guess. This is for her. <laughs> With the show on in her ears. It is a thing that you can do to a butt with a thing from a tree. But it is made of what you eat from a tree, too. I like the idea that she got on the first ten, but she has to listen to all this shit now. (laughs) You can pause when you get it. Turn to page 38 of your textbook. 38?! (laughs) <laughs> what? We lost. We lost. Sorry, it was veggie stick. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Sorry, Sarah. Sorry. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> She's right here, man. God damn it, Sarah! Oh, sorry. Well, if you want to give me some feedback, shout me out a reflective or find me in the cabbies. <laughs> Buddy. Hey, if you're listening to this on a day we're working together, can I have a cigarette? You're stupid. When you hear this, <laughs> can I get a cigarette? <laughs> You'll have... Happily quit. You're going to have a whole fucking pack. You're going to start the addiction over out of nowhere. Oh, please, he does that every few weeks. <laughs> you leave my conviction alone. <laughs> you leave lack thereof. You leave my resolve alone. <laughs> You're resolve shaming. <laughs> yeah, you can't body shame me, you bitch. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I, I love the most that I can call you a bitch, and you just know I'm fucking around. A lot of women get mad. Yeah. I've but, been calling you a bitch for how long? Yeah. She broke me. I used oh he used to get so mad when I would go bitch. I'd be like, don't call me bitch like I'm one of your female friends. For like years, and I just kept it up, and he finally fucking oh. just took it. Yeah, I was toxic. He was so cute in 2016. I was so cute and toxic. I could have fix I, I could fix him, and I did. I could have poisoned the water fountain. For, I wasn't even trying to fix you romantically. I was oh just my like, god! Oh, he's cool. Hey Sarah, we're gonna call it. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, would you hit the button? Yeah, uh, well, you've been listening to the name of that podcast, Sarah. Thanks, sincerely. Um, here's some more episodes that might be titled after you, which I doubt. You were a really fun episode. See ya. Look at you, strawberry cow. You make me go well. I love it when you move my name. Can't you hear the bumblebee swarm? I'm watching your horn. I love it when you look. Strawberry cow, shoot your ass hard, hit you with strawberry pow, all in your block, I want my block, hit you with that strawberry wow, drinking my milk, it's bad for your health, don't do it to yourself, I'm a motherfucking strawberry cow, what, come in your block, hit you with that strawberry pow, I got that block, I want them strawberries now, what, Strawberry cow! <laughs> strawberry cow. My mama's a bull. My daddy is strawberry sow. Strawberries now. They fed them to me when I was a kid. And now I make strawberry milk. It's bad for the health. It's good for the bars. But I am a strawberry star. You fucking with me? I hit your ass with my strawberry car. White on pink. Pink on white. Don't fuck with me. It's gonna be a good strawberry night. Yo! I fuck in your bitch. She pull up my udder, I pay that bitch in veggie sticks. Strawberry cow, strawberry what? Strawberry why? Strawberry who? Strawberry how? Strawberry now? Yeah. Strawberry bitch. Yeah. About to pop off on a strawberry snitch. Taking that chocolate. Taking vanilla. Taking no strawberry. Bitch, I'ma kill you. Fill you up with holes like a strawberry. About to hit folds like my name is here, Terry. What? Strawberry cow, strawberry nipples, strawberry head, strawberry milk, strawberry ice cream, strawberry bread, strawberry milk, strawberry cheese, strawberry strings, strawberry glock, strawberry pop, strawberry things. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs>